Yeah, my, my regret is we've never had the kind of hammerlock on Congress that the Democrats have. You know, Republicans have not had more than 55 members of the U.S. Senate in 100 years. So we've never had an opportunity like the Democrats had in 9 and 10 with a conservative in the White House, a conservative House, and 60 Republican senators. We never had that opportunity. So, you know, you can talk about what didn't happen. It was because the American people didn't give us enough votes to do what we would have preferred to do. Um, I, I wish, you know, someday to be a part of a big whopping majority in the Senate and House and have a Republican president of like mine and see what we could do. But the American people have never given us the kind of hammerlock on Congress that Democrats had during the New Deal, that they had during the Great Society, and that they had in 2009 and 2010. So, um, yeah, I'm disappointed, too, you know. Uh, the I completely just forgot the question I was going to ask well, you. Well, I think your point was, you, you know, why haven't you been able to get better results? Right. Well, and, and, and that, I think that the, is answer, the answer to that is we haven't had enough votes. <laughs> you know, we have elections in this country, and the, the winners get to make policy, and the losers go home. And the Democrats have had, you know, Congress sometimes with whopping majorities most of the time since the New Deal. And um, that's that's a great disappointment. I think that's the reason the country has the kind of debt and deficit that it has, because we've not been able to um, secure the support of enough of the American people to have the kind of big majorities you need to kind of roll things back. And um, maybe someday we'll have that. I hope so. Did, did- 